हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स बाय एंटी माइक्रोबियल एजेंट्स राइट सो वी आर यूजिंग द एंटी माइक्रोबियल एजेंट्स एज ए प्रिजर्वेटिव इनटू द फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स सो दैट वी कैन प्रिजर्व देम फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम अंटीनलेस इट विल एक्सपायर राइट सो व्हाट दैट दैट प्रैक्टिस वी आर डूइंग इनटू द आवर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑफ पिकल्स एंड व्हाटएवर द आइटम्स वी वांट टू प्रिजर्व से फॉर एग्जांपल टर्मरिक पाउडर एंड साल्ट पाउडर सो दो थिंग्स वी आर एडिंग इन टू दी पिकल्स एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स टू सो दैट वी एन ऑयल सफिशेंट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ ऑयल सो दैट दो स्टफ्स वी कैन प्रिजर्व इट फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम राइट सो दैट्स वॉट प्रिजर्वेटिव इट इज हैविंग मेजर रोल इन टू दी फूड एंड फार्मास्यूटिकल फॉर्मुलेशंस राइट सो वॉट आर द वॉट काइंड ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोवेल से फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंटी माइक्रोवेल एजेंट्स दीज आर नथिंग बट प्रिजर्वेटिव राइट to prevent the growth of unwanted microorganisms so why why we are using this to prevent the growth of unwanted microorganisms which may grow or which may contaminate your pharmaceutical product during the storage or during the lifetime of the particular product right so it should be integral part of the formulation whenever we are adding this antimicrobial agent it should be integral part of that formulations to afford protection in particular environment right whenever whatever the environment we are keeping them in storage condition in transport or into the normal uses condition in the particular environment it should be protected all the time the all the ingredients should be safe that's what it is called it should be integral part it is a one of the part of unit of the formulation right so combination of the two or more preservative used to extend the range of the protection if you are using more preservative into the one formula listen we can extend the range of the it may be protecting from fungus protecting from the bacteria protecting from some other kinds of microorganism like that we can increase the spectrum protection right so widely employed uh, into the uh, it will be useful into the emulsion suspension semi solid parental products uh, and so many other preparation we can use this antimicrobial agent as a uh, preservative right so here some examples uh, it has given for say for example in the formulation tablet so in tablet what kind of preservative we are using methyl paraben phenol and cresol these are the uh, popular uh, preservative which can be used into the tablet manufacturing in when we talk about the eye drops so in eye drops we are using benzyl conium chloride and phenyl mercuric nitrate these kinds of things will be used into the ophthalmic preparation eye drop coming to the liquid and mixtures we are using alcohol methyl paraben and chloroform coming to the fourth one semi solid kind of preparation we are using the chloroglycerol and dichlorobenzyl alcohol so these are the some examples of the preservative which we are using into the different formulations right so whenever using we are using these kinds of preservative what kind of characteristic it should have what kind of quality it should have so that it will not be interfering either to the patient or to the consumer or to the particular product so characteristics say able to kill all microorganism first of all right it should be uh, able to kill if it will uh, be attacking during the storage so it should be having that kind, that much of the capability to kill the microorganism it should not be toxic non toxic it should be to the patient or to the consumer not to the microorganism right non toxic to the consumer not be irritated it should be first of all they are along with the drug and the drug duty is to give the therapeutic value if the because of the preservative the patient or consumer will get some kinds of irritation some kinds of adverse effect side effects again it will be problematic so that's what it should be not irritant it not be irritant it physically and chemically stable right during the storage it should not be the have any kinds of changes it should be stable into the different types of chemical ph environment and all those things coming to the and the fifth one effective at low concentration throughout the life of medicine right the expiry date suppose 2 year 3 year 5 year so in that uh, expiry date or that period of time it should be effective at whatever the concentration in the lowest concentration which we have added during the manufacturing it should be effective in that time right and the cost effective of course cost is matter everywhere right so it should be effective if it is costly so it should be uh, having more effective if it is uh, low cost uh, it's so in that way it should be cost effective these are the characteristics supposed to have the uh, different types of antimicrobial preservative which we are using as a so that is the uh, preservation of the pharmaceutical products by antimicrobial agents thank you